So uh, let this be a lesson to all listeners when you go to Australia. No perfume. It makes kangaroos hard. It makes their dicks hard and they will attack you. Thanks, Yumi. Thank you, Yumi Metal, for that kind of upgraded version of our original intro song. Stay cool, Yumi. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah. All right, Ben. Let's get silly. Let's get crazy. Got it. Back to normal after that very depressing topic last episode. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. get back to our roots. Still got a bad taste in my mouth from that episode. Old, just like old Dirty just Johnny. Like dirty, Dirty Johnny. Dirty Johnny. Yeah. So what's up with you, my friend? Uh, what's going on in the crazy world of Ben these days? Oh, let's see. Let's see. So uh, I lot. Yeah, I lot. I lost some money. Oh, no. Yeah, I lost some money. Like you lost it? Like you dropped it? Well, yeah, both, actually. I lost money just dropping it. I just dropped it in this park or something. Oh. And uh, I lost money gambling. You gambled? Yeah, I'm I'm a gambler. You're a gambler? You didn't know that? I'm a gambler. I remember many years ago you were... You had some Australian app where yep. you could gamble on I'm, sports. Man, I'm gambling my savings away. It's no, killing. you're yeah, not. I'm gambling my, my kids' college money. No, you're not. Money. It's gone. No, you're not. Sell the house. Are you really gambling? I am gambling. I am gambling. So uh, what I do, right, you know I love Australian football. Yes. I love I remember it. that's what you used to gamble on. Yeah, and I still do. So what I do is at the start of the football season, yeah, right, I put like 50 bucks into my betting account. Okay. Right? So you're very strict about... That's it. That's all. That's all. $50 I ne- yep. and for I, the whole year. For the whole year. Well, that's not... Well, the whole season. That's not dangerous. And I try... My goal is to finish the year with $50. So you just want to break even. I want to break even. And maybe gambling on the games makes it more exciting? Exactly. It makes it more exciting. And it it makes even games where my team's not playing, or any team, is more exciting if you have some money riding on the game. Ah, if you have money riding on the game. Yeah. So I've been having a great time losing money and uh, gambling against my wife. Oh, you and your wife yeah, gamble against each yeah, other. Yeah, we're both in it. That's so stupid. Yeah, I know it gets pretty. Then you can't win. <laughs> it gets pretty, pretty tense in the old uh, space dragon house. Yeah, we're screaming at the at the projector now. We're watching this baby on the projector, and we're screaming, and our kids are confused. <laughs> and it's good fun, but I lost. Yeah, I lost like I don't know half of my gambling money. So about $25. Poof. Gone. It's gone. Into that's, thin air. That's how it goes with gambling. You never win. You never win. We say uh, the house always wins. Yeah, the house always wins. The, the house means the casino or, you know, the gambling company. They're evil, man. They're bad people, these gambling companies. But I love them. I can't stay away. <laughs> So I gamble on on football um, mainly. Well, you said you also dropped some money. Yeah, I dropped some money. So I, I got I got some money from the ATM, right? Because I was going to the uh, the big Sendai festival, the uh, Alba Matsuri, Alba Matsuri, Alba festival. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that festival, right? And I just, I, I just, I don't know what happened. I, I just lost this cash. Well, maybe you'll find it. Yeah. So I had to write. So my wife's like, "Do you have that money?" And I checked my pockets, and I was like, "Oh fuck, you lost." I don't it. want to tell her because I lose. I've been losing stuff recently. So did you run to the ATM? Yes. I said, get- "I got to, I got to go to the toilet," or like, 
Rui wants to go to the toilet. And he's like, no, I don't. I'm like, shut up. And I went to the ATM. And you got more money. I got more money. Yeah. More well, money. Um, not that long ago, you had a very lucky day. I did. I got money. And you found money. I did. So now this time, it's kind of, you know, the opposite. Yeah. Sometimes you're the hammer and sometimes you're the nail. Ow, 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 ow. Sometimes it goes good and sometimes it doesn't. Yep. And that's life. It goes up and down. Life's like a roller coaster. Life is like a roller coaster. We're just hanging on for the ride. Sometimes you're going up. And sometimes you're going down. That's right. That's right. So when, when something good happens to me, good luck, I always get nervous. I don't like uh, it because I know just around the corner. Something bad will happen. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe. So, yeah, I lost a bunch of money. That's about it, really. Apart from that, everything's been good. My niece is staying with me at the moment, living in my house. Your niece? Yeah, my niece. That must be your wife's sibling's daughter correct and it feels weird to say niece you know when it's not a blood relative it feels weird for me like she's japanese yeah we're a completely different race we don't share any blood we don't share yeah. any history but i love her like family she's your niece she's my niece man well it's the same it's like you know you your aunts and uncles only half of them are blood related to you. Yeah, and you never feel, I don't know about you, but you feel closer to your blood relatives usually because you spent your life with them. You know them better. Um, Sometimes there'll be a, a relative through maybe marriage. Maybe there is a little bit of a bias towards yeah. the person you're blood related to. Oh, definitely. But my uncles and aunts and... I, I feel most of them, I feel kind of the same. Yeah. But if the, okay. So if there's two people hanging from a cliff, one's your blood relative and one's relative through marriage, and you can only save one, probably going to save your blood relative first. Maybe mm -hmm. that's a natural human instinct. Yeah. But, uh, I'd save them both. You'd save them both. Yes, yeah. I got two hands, Ben. Okay. Well, it depends on the relative. That's why I go to the gym. So that if you're ever hanging on a cliff... You could lift two fully grown adults at the same time. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no problem, he says. <laughs> anyway. This week, we're going to have some fun. hey -o. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> there it is. There you go. That's the fun sound. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Something's been happening did in you, Australia. Did you miss the fart sound? I've heard the fart, the fart sound. Fart. I just ignore the fart sound. Uh, I'm sick of it. Uh, you need a new sound, Abe. Okay, you've got news from Australia? News from Australia. Oh, what is it about? It's an animal attack. Shall I play the music? Play that funky music, white boy. Oh. Since we played this music. Has been a while. Has been a while. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard this for a long time. Horror story coming up. Australia is a country full of animals so cute. So cute. Kangaroos and kookaburras, koalas, wombats. Too. Don't forget wombats. And wombats. Tiny Don't forget bilbies, quackers, wallabies. Quackers and wallabies. On the hmm. other hand, there is some uh -oh. scary uh -oh. shit to see. Shit. Crocodiles and sharks that'll kill you instantly. Dead snakes, dead snakes, dead snakes. Kill you in your sleep. Yeah, that's why Australian people are always so tired because we can't sleep. We just you got to keep one eye open. All too many the time. dangerous animals. Too many trying to kill you, too, even when you're sleeping. Too many dangerous things. Yeah. All right. So, what is today's dangerous animal story? Uh, okay, we got a kangaroo attack. We got another roo attack. These kangaroos—they're a big problem in Australia. They're 
attacking Australian people, men, women, children. They don't care. They really? Don't care. They're bad guys. All right. I don't know because mm. uh, two or three weeks ago, mm -hmm. you told me a story about when you and your friends killed a kangaroo. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah. So you know, this is just revenge. Yeah, but that was an accident. These kangaroos are targeting people. No, they're, they're not. Attacking innocent people. And this, this story will change your mind. These kangaroos are not targeting people. They are. It's exactly. Attacking them. It's man. exactly what they're no, doing. They're and this story not. will prove it. I can't believe you're on the kangaroo I'm side. I'm team kangaroo all Jesus. the way. I thought we were friends, eh? They're not dangerous. How wrong I was. So here is the story of a lovely young lady completely innocent, okay, and she's out jogging in a, in a Melbourne suburbs. Okay, in a city, in a he, suburb. Yeah, this is human territory. She's not in the bush. Okay. She's not in the forest. The, the bush is a kind of Australian word for countryside. Yeah, that's the right. Bush. So she was jogging along, right? Mm -hmm. And she saw a kangaroo in the distance. Okay. Yeah. Some, Hi, kangaroo. Hey, kangaroo. Cute, right? Yeah. That's what she thought. But she was wrong. Her happy little jog was about to get really uh, dangerous and deadly. Okay. So Slow down. Calm down. What's difficult to calm down? This kangaroo saw her and immediately attacked her. No. Jumped towards her, knocked her to the ground, okay. down. Knocked her down. Maybe he hit her with his tail. An innocent woman, Tracy Noonan, the woman's name. Okay. Knocked down Tracy and started scratching and clawing her back. Oh, no. Yep, scratching and clawing her back. And she's a beautiful, I'll just say, she's a, she's a cute-looking lady. Oh, so she's attractive. She's attractive. Right. Yeah. And she desperately tried to get away from the, the roo. So she was struggling yeah. with the kangaroo. Imagine that, in the middle of a street, screaming yeah. for help. Uh, trying to get away. Trying to get away. She finally managed to fight it off. Right? Okay, so she struggled and tried to hit the kangaroo and she kind of escaped. Yep, yeah. and she, uh, she threw some rocks at it. Okay. Which is a good move, smart move. Throw some rocks at it. And that worked. The kangaroo went, Whoa. Stop throwing rocks at me. I just want to play. Yeah. Or maybe it was catching them and putting them in its pocket. Oh, you know, there's a famous expression, I'll scratch your back uh -huh. and you scratch mine. Yes. It means I'll help you and you help me. Yeah. Maybe the kangaroo just wanted a nice back scratch. <laughs> maybe it took that phrase literally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have an itchy back. Let me scratch your back, <clears throat> and then you scratch mine right after this, okay? Right, and yeah. She started throwing rocks at the poor kangaroo. There's two sides to every story. Yeah, but you're just giving too much credit to this kangaroo. I'm team kangaroo. All right. These humans, they always use that expression. Stupid. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Stop. Stupid. So if I scratch this lady's back... No. Then she'll give me a nice back scratch. Well, it was wrong. It got a face full of rocks. And then she ran to a nearby house. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she banged on the door. Help me, help! And she ran inside and, uh, and she was scared to leave the house. Because she thought the kangaroo might be stalking her, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. So she carefully opened the door and she couldn't see the kangaroo. Yeah. So she thought maybe it's safe. Maybe the coast is clear. The coast is clear. It's safe to go. Safe to go. So she made a run for her house. So she, now she just wants to get home. And who was waiting around the corner? The old kangaroo with the itchy back. Old Special K. And attacked her again. Really? Yep. Came onto her, <laughs> knocked her down again. again, and started attacking her. And she said, she thought, the kangaroo was excited and Sexually? erect. Oh. So 
the kangaroo it was a male kangaroo yep and he was aroused aroused this was a attempted rape so you think the kangaroo was trying to mate with her yeah mate with her that's right make a little half kangaroo half human babies and she was playing hard to get she was playing hard to get and they they in okay to finish the story she she survived thank god this okay. poor lady she'll never be the same and they asked an animal expert what's going on here right yeah what's happening here and uh and this guy said well he was probably attracted to your perfume Oh, really? It's what are the animal kangaroos are into perfume? Yeah. And she said, "Yes, when I was leaving the house, she couldn't find her deodorant. So she sprayed a bit of perfume on herself." Yeah. Who puts on perfume to go running? So, uh let this be a lesson to all listeners when you go to Australia, no perfume, it makes kangaroos hard, it makes their dicks hard and they will attack you. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, from one popular segment to another, Ooh. we have a From Instagram, the gram. I wake up in the morning. My kids want to give me a kiss. I love you, Papa. I push them out of the way. Get out of here. I, I need to see Instagram. I grab my phone. I open oh, Instagram. We've got a That's all I care about, guys. Okay. So give us more. This question comes from a long-time listener, passionate teacher, talk fan. All right. They ask: Do our countries have any funny town? City place names. Funny names of places. Yep. Yep. Well, uh, I know Australia has a lot. Australia's got so many. It's hard to choose. Yeah, I remember when I was there, there were a lot of places that I guess were named using uh, Aboriginal words. Yeah, yeah. But you know, the funniest ones are the European ones. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. Because there's places named like Chupa Wamba Dumba. Yeah, all that stuff. stuff. Like that. That's funny to say. Yeah. Yeah. How about I thought how we can do this is I'll read the names, okay. and I'll gauge your reaction about you know as as to how funny it is. Okay, so mm. if I laugh, then it's funny. It's funny. And if yeah. I don't, then nah, not that. I funny. just want to see, you know, what okay. you think is funny. Sure. Okay. But you know, because everybody's got a different sense of humor. Yeah. You know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I so, feel a little bit of pressure here. You what should. if you should? Pressure's it's not good. Not funny. I'm not going to pretend to laugh. You shouldn't. Pressure makes diamonds. Let's go. Uh, first one, Humpy Bong. <laughs> Straight off. <laughs> Straight off the bat. He loves it. Humpy bong. Humpy bong. That's pretty funny. Now, this is an oh, indigenous oh, word. Oh. Humpy, you know, to hump means to like... Uh, 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 right? Like a dog on my children. Yeah. And bong is just a funny sounding word. Bong. A bong. Uh, but it's also the word for like a, a big marijuana pipe. What? You know, that they put water in it, like a hookah. They do? I was like, you know what a bong is, Ben. How do you know all the, How do you know Us, this? Everybody knows. What a bong oh, is. I was raised on bongs. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, next one, boing boing. boing, 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 boing. Yeah. Now, yeah. boing, boing is an onomatopoeia. Well, it's like boing, boing, boing. Like... It's a, a jumping yeah. sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the kangaroo went boing, boing, boing. Yeah, mm, for example. That's kind of funny sounding, but I, it didn't make me laugh. No, not that great. And um, by the way, it's an indigenous word meaning mosquitoes buzzing. Bouncy mosquitoes around there. Yeah, mm. Okay. 
Okay, now oh, you have a lot. Now we're getting into the good stuff. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hold on tight. Put your seatbelt on. Okay. Next one, quality knob. <laughs> quality knob. Quality knob. Was that? Is that's not an Aboriginal no, word? No, no, no. Obviously, no, no, no. there's a lot of knobs. Okay, so knob, um, most commonly, is like a doorknob. Yes, but. In yeah. British English, knob is another word for penis. Yeah. If you imagine a flat surface and there's kind of a round thing sticking up. You could call that a knob. That's a knob. And? It means penis. It means penis. So it's like quality knob. That's a nice dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, <laughs> quality that's a, knob. That's a funny That's term, a good one. Okay. Are yeah. you ready for the next one? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm here it comes. I don't you here don't need to warn Okay, me. I'm just saying, I'm just asking. They're not I'm trying that, to be polite. Okay. Chinaman's knob. That's kind of like racist. <laughs> yeah, very racist. Chinaman's knob. Okay, first of all, yeah. Chinaman mm -hmm. is uh, an old and kind of a racist term. It is. Yeah. We don't say Chinaman anymore. We don't. We say Chinese people. Yes. Yeah. Chinese man. Yeah. Not Chinaman. But it's the still the name of still the, the name. Place? Still the name. Oh, yeah. You got to change that name. Yeah, I know, right? The Chinaman's knob. Chinaman's knob. Yeah. Where do you live? Yeah. I'll just send send my package to Chinaman's knob. <laughs> I love it. Uh, next one. Now the next one is is good because there's two towns next to each other. Right? Okay. One is called Boobs Flat. <laughs> It's kind of an oxymoron. It is a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oxymoron is like saying words that are the opposite of each other, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like a funny war. Right. You know, Wars aren't funny. Wars are not funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and boobs flat. Right, because boobs aren't flat. No, boobs are breasts, tits. Yeah. Bazungas. Anyway. Anyway, boobs flat. The next town across, okay, a short drive away, yeah, Big Bush, <laughs> okay. Big Bush. So a uh, bush mm. is um, a nickname for pubic hair. Yep, that's right. Yeah, she's got a big bush down there. You're right. I mean, she, okay. uh, yeah, she has a lot of hair down there. Right. Um, or he. Or he. All right. I don't know. Some of these are actually pretty rude to explain. Maybe we've got wow. time. Is there more? Oh, there's so many. I can't. Really? I can't choose. I'm spoiled for choice. Oh God, Canada I'm spoiled doesn't for have choice. very many at all. Okay. Probably my favorite. Cockwash Creek. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's so creek means a small river. Yep. Cock means penis. Yep. So it's like. That's the little river where you That's where you wash, wash your, yourself. Where you wash your dick. First you go to Big Bush, right? <laughs> you pick up some beer in boob flats or whatever. Then head down to Cockwash Creek to, to co scrub your Scrub that cock clean. Yeah. In that cool the cool flowing waters of Cockwash Creek. Okay. <laughs> I imagine lots of men just dipping their dicks into this creek. Near Australia's worst city, Adelaide. Oh, you don't like Adelaide? No, I don't. No, it's boring. You know, it's the city of churches. Oh, there's yeah. tons and tons of churches. So, so you know it's going to be. So most people are religious. Yeah, a lot of Christians there, a lot of Bibles. So not yeah. so much partying. Not so many parties. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of uh, washed cocks going into big bushes. Not a there. lot of humpy bongs. Not a lot of humpy bongs going on. <laughs> no humpy bong parties in Adelaide. Ah, it's more boring. of a, Mel it's a Melbourne thing. Okay. Yeah, humpy bongs. Mm. Well, I don't really have any. I mean, I think there's a town well, don't worry, Abe. called uh, Sexsmith. Don't worry, because I've got Which some Canadian ones too. Not that funny, really. Have you heard of any of these? Climax. Which is, you know. It's probably just at the top of a hill or something. Interesting. Head you're, you're saying it's funny because you can use the word climax to mean like a orgasm. 
like a sexual peak. Everyone in this town is walking around with a ah. big smile. They're just. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been coming for days. I gotta get out of here. Kill me. <laughs> but it's so good. <laughs> Leave while you can. And <laughs> probably my favorite one, head smashed in buffalo jump. Ah, uh, right. What the fuck, Alberta? It's head smashed in buffalo jump. Head smashed in it's buffalo jump. Very long jump. and pretty. Head smashed in. I mean, when something is smashed in, it, it means heavy damage. Yeah. So Serious. do you know what a buffalo jump is? A buffalo jump? So when... You hunt buffaloes. Yeah. They're in big groups, big herds. Right. Like a stampede. And they live in the grasslands. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're hunting them. Yeah. Yeah. So a buffalo jump is an area where you trick the buffaloes into running. And there's kind of like a, a cliff. Oh, okay. So you kind of, kind of direct them corral them yeah to yeah. make them run and go off the cliff and die oh okay Smart. and then you don't have to shoot them saving bullets well yeah or arrows or whatever save bullets you're tenderizing the meat well yeah and then you get a huge group of buffaloes all dead at the bottom of the cliff. Wow. Okay. So that's a, called a buffalo jump. Well, it makes sense. Head smashed in buffalo jump. Yeah. So I guess... I guess it was a big cliff. I guess so. Yeah. A big cliff. They're falling down onto some rocks or something. Yeah. Poor buffaloes. Terrible name for a town. Too long. Head smashed in buffalo jump. It's too long. It's right. too long. Yeah. Anyway, see, Canada does have some, but I think Australia is the like, king. Just, just call it buffalo jump. Yeah, um, there's probably... Why do you have to add the head smashed in part? Okay, guys, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week. Best week ever. Please write a review on Apple Podcast. That reminds me. Oh. We got a written review. We did? Yes. I love these reviews. Oh, my God. Well, you can practice your English by reviewing ben, us. We got... Two new written reviews. Oh, my God. The floodgates have opened. Oh, happy day. Wow. So the first one is from snorkeling exclamation mark. Snorkeling! Must really You're going to say it like that? Snorkeling. Like snorkeling! Snorkeling! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Such a funny word. What are you doing snorkel. this weekend? Oh, I don't know. Snorkeling! <laughs> like I do every fucking weekend. <laughs> What do you think? Woo! <laughs> yeah. She says, Highly recommended. They talk various topics which are mostly funny, interesting, and sometimes educational. Hey, perfect. That's our goal. Yeah. Comedy, and education. If we can be a little bit educational, that's, that's good. And uh, then just... A couple days ago, oh. we got a another review from right. you mean. Oh, I forgot this kanji. I know who this is. Do you? Yes, because she wrote to my other podcast too. Um, she is the chef for the embassy in the Maldives. Wow, Japanese embassy in the Maldives. What a dream job. Yeah. Isn't that a dream cool job? job? Cooking delicious food for rich people in the fucking Maldives, which is like a... Did you just say Maldives? Maldives. I don't, I don't know how to say you, it. It's like <laughs> diving in a yeah, mall? That's, no, 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 because that's what I, I think about diving, snorkeling, you know. Well, this isn't the same person. I know, I know. But I, when I think about Maldives, I think about diving. Maldives, Ben. Is it really Maldives? Maldives. Is Everyone it? says Maldives. Except me. No one says Maldives. Oh, damn it. I've been saying it wrong for 39 years. Anyway, great place for snorkeling, the Maldives. I hear that. And he or she says, 
I'm a big fan of you guys. I have listened to all the episodes twice or more. Wow. Well, so, thank you. So much appreciation. Their funny episodes cheer me up. So I'd like to uh, show my appreciation from my heart to this program. We feel that. Thank you very much, you mean. Our hearts are connected across the sea. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I hope you're enjoying life in the Maldives. Yeah. What you should do, get a get a rental car, get a loudspeaker, and drive around that island blasting teacher talk. Uh, and let's get let's get it going in the Maldives. The Maldives. The Maldives. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. they'll love it. Mm. Yeah. So thank you very much. And uh, if you have not written a review on Apple Podcasts... You're wasting your life. <laughs> live, it's time to live your best life. Wake up. Get on your you phone. Know, it's okay if you don't. No, it's not okay. I'm sick of it. it. We appreciate it, even if you're just listening. It ends today. Listening silently. <laughs> but That's if, fine. if you can, we super appreciate any written reviews. Yeah, we need it. We love it. We feed on your reviews. It's our lifeblood. It, it really is. Yeah. Mm. It gives us energy. By not reviewing, you're killing us. <laughs> no, you're not. You want to be a murderer? No, you're not. <laughs> we love you all. We do. Okay, bye, guys. Bye.